MH370 disappeared, which marked the start of one of the biggest aviation mysteries of all time. Key news tonight, a Malaysia Airlines flight. Malaysia Airlines flight. MH370. Flight MH370. Disappeared en route to Beijing. Scientists have discovered some terrifying new insights about Malaysian Flight 370 that changed everything we thought we knew. This ill-fated flight, with 239 people on board, including four Americans, vanished into thin air. For years, the world watched us in shock as experts scoured the ocean depths and analyzed every shred of evidence, hoping to find answers. But now, a wave of groundbreaking discoveries and cutting-edge theories might finally illuminate what happened. Join us as we uncover these startling revelations that could transform our understanding of the Flight MH370 tragedy. Stay tuned, because the evidence will genuinely knock your socks off. The Flight MH370 was on a routine international trip from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. On board were 227 passengers from 14 countries and 12 Malaysian crew members. On March 8, 2014, MH370 departed from Kuala Lumpur International Airport at midnight. The 5,570-kilometer flight was expected to take about five and a half hours. Captain Zahari Ahmad Shah and First Officer Farik Abdul Hamid both seasoned pilots piloted the Boeing 777-200ER, a highly trusted aircraft known for its advanced technology. As the plane climbed into the night sky, everything seemed normal and passengers settled in for their journey. However, MH370 mysteriously disappeared from radar screens as it flew towards Beijing, creating one of the most perplexing aviation mysteries ever. At 1.01 a.m. Malaysian Standard Time, the plane, cruising at 35,000 feet, sent its routine status update through the aircraft communications addressing and reporting system. This system, designed to relay regular updates, indicated no issues on board. At 1.07 a.m., the ACRs sent its final message, reporting normal operations. Yet the next scheduled update at 1.37 a.m. has to arrive. The most unsettling moment occurred around 1.19 a.m., when the plane entered Vietnamese airspace. The pilots communicated with Kuala Lumpur's air traffic control saying, Good night, Malaysia 370, a typical sign-off as the flight prepared to switch to the next control center. But after this sign-off, MH370 went silent and contact with Vietnamese air traffic control never happened. Now, years later, scientists are uncovering shocking discoveries and theories about what might have happened to Flight MH370. Let's get into them. Number 15. Terrifying Calls and Signals After MH370 vanished from radar, it continued to send signals to a satellite over the Indian Ocean for about six hours. Despite this, some onboard communication systems, including those for passengers, and automated maintenance were deliberately switched off or disconnected. During this time, seven signals were exchanged with the satellite, two initiated by the plane and five by Inmarsat's ground station. Two attempted satellite phone calls remained unanswered. These signals offer vital insights into the plane's condition during its mysterious six-hour journey. Number 14. Radar Insights Military radar revealed that after MH370 disappeared from civilian radar, it made a sharp turn southwest, crossed the Malay Peninsula, and looped around Penang Island. It flew northwest over the Malacca Strait before disappearing over the Andaman Sea. This leg of the journey lasted over an hour, indicating this was no ordinary hijacking or accident scenario. The mysterious vanishing of MH370, despite its sophisticated technology and uninterrupted electronic connection, perplexed investigators and the public. Initial denials and unclear statements from Malaysian authorities failed to conceal the mysterious circumstances surrounding the plane's flight path. Number 13. Astonishing Antarctic Turn In a shocking twist, London-based technicians using Doppler shift data discovered that at around 2.40 a.m., the plane drastically turned south over Sumatra, Indonesia. This unexpected move suggested the aircraft was heading towards Antarctica, far from its original route. Six hours later, Doppler data showed the plane suddenly plummeting, descending up to five times faster than usual. It crossed the seventh arc and crashed into the ocean, likely breaking apart before hitting the water. This was not a controlled landing, but a catastrophic crash. Number 12. Doppler Data Clues 
A crucial clue in MH370's mysterious path is the Doppler value. This measures changes in the plane's signal frequency as it moves relative to a satellite, which was Inmarsat's satellite over the Indian Ocean. Planes use this frequency shift to communicate smoothly with satellites. However, the satellite's age, orbit, and temperature can cause minor signal inaccuracies. These subtle hints helped experts deduce that the plane turned southward after vanishing from radar. Number 11, black box search. Satellite data revealed that MH370 likely continued flying after losing contact, a fact confirmed later by Malaysian officials, highlighting early delays and confusion in the search efforts. The Malaysian government's lack of transparency and inconsistent updates hindered initial investigations, leading to misguided searches in the South China Sea. These errors initially failed to find any debris, underscoring the importance of accurate information from the outset. Subsequent searches focused on the vast and remote Indian Ocean, with Australia leading efforts guided by satellite data. Mapping the unexplored seabed was crucial before deploying sonar vehicles, highlighting the complexity and expense of the operation. Number 10. Intentional Flight Speculations New evidence suggests MH370's disappearance might have been intentional, as its unusual route and silence defy typical explanations, like technical faults or pilot errors. Common aviation mishap causes, such as system glitches or environmental factors, don't fully align with MH370's peculiar path. Issues like sensor failures or communication problems also fail to explain the deliberate course change. At the same time, no records of confused pilots or external threats add to the mystery, hinting at an unprecedented event behind MH370's vanishing act. Number 9. Conspiracy Conspiracy, conspiracy. In Boulder, Colorado, Mike, an electrical engineer, analyzed MH370's radar data. He suggested the plane climbed sharply to 40,000 feet, a near maximum altitude, possibly intentionally to depressurize the cabin swiftly and disable passengers. Oxygen masks were deployed, but they were effective only briefly, leaving passengers unconscious. Meanwhile, the cockpit had ample oxygen, indicating possible deliberate action. As the plane sped toward Penang Island, passing close to Butterworth Air Base without raising alarms, Mike's findings raised questions about the lack of response to the plane's rapid movement. Number 8. Interference in the Sky Control of MH370 wasn't taken from a hidden compartment. It was managed from the cockpit. Between 1.01 a.m. and 1.21 a.m., the plane's automated system sent regular updates to maintenance, including fuel levels, speed, altitude, location, and issues, confirming satellite communication was active. Now it's unlikely both pilots acted together. By the time the plane vanished from secondary radar, one pilot was probably incapacitated, dead, or locked out. The plane's precise southwest turn suggests the autopilot was turned off. The person in control likely depressurized the cabin and shut down most electrical systems, disrupting the satellite link. Number seven, when pilots assume control, the possibility that MH370's captain took deliberate control raises unsettling questions. Such scenarios, though rare, have happened before. In 1997, the captain of Silk Air Flight 185 likely turned off recorders before crashing into a river. Similarly, in 1999, Egypt Air Flight 990's co-pilot crashed into the sea off Long Island. Just before MH370's disappearance, Mozambique Airlines Flight 470's captain crashed from high altitude. The German wings crash in 2015 is another example. Co-pilot Andreas Lubitz locked the pilot out and crashed into the French Alps. Investigations revealed Lubitz had depression and had researched MH370's disappearance. However, MH370's co-pilot was a young man excited about his upcoming marriage, with no signs of depression or conflict. He was a respected pilot flying the prestigious Boeing 777 for a national airline, making it hard to believe he was involved in the plane's disappearance. Number 6. Revealing Captain Zahari In a curious turn of events, Captain Zahari, portrayed as a model pilot and family man, has come under scrutiny. Despite his public image, Signs of distress in his personal life were overlooked. While law enforcement investigated, they found no significant concerns about his ability to handle work pressure 
or changes in his behavior. However, subtle hints like his prolonged solitude after his wife's departure and his infatuation with online personalities hint at a more profound struggle. His immersion in social media possibly enhanced his isolation, raising concerns of clinical depression. Intriguingly, the FBI identified a simulated flight on his computer resembling MH370's path, but Malaysian authorities downplayed its significance leaving Zahari's actual circumstances shrouded in mystery. Now brace yourselves because some question the theory of the plane crashing in the Indian Ocean. Families of passengers reported receiving phone calls days after the supposed crash, suggesting the plane might still be intact. Telecom expert Paul Franks supports this, arguing that submerged phones wouldn't work. Number 5. Following the Clues Entrepreneur Victor Ianello also gained attention for investigating MH370's flight simulations. He noticed Sahari's peculiar handling of the simulator, moving the flight in stages until it vanished. Ianello suggests this was Zahari's subtle way of bidding farewell, leaving behind breadcrumbs. Despite no technical need for a consumer-grade simulator, Zahari's choice raised suspicions. According to Ianello, this unconventional simulation offers crucial insights into Zahari's state of mind and role in MH370's puzzling disappearance. Number four, digital plotting. Esteemed historian Norman Davis presents a compelling theory, suggesting MH370 could have been hacked and rerouted remotely. He proposes that cyber experts exploited technology designed to prevent 9-11 style attacks, allowing ground control of planes. In his book, Beneath Another Sky, a global journey into history, Davis discusses the Boeing Honeywell's uninterruptible autopilot, hinting at a sinister scenario. He speculates the plane might have carried sensitive cargo, making it a target for kidnapping attempts. Davis suggests a sequence where hackers initially hijacked the plane, intending to divert it to Diego Garcia, a U.S. naval base. Another hacker might have intervened to thwart this plan. Number three, the hidden location of MH370's jungle impact. In 2019, Amid MH370 search efforts, British video producer Ian Wilson proposed a novel idea. He speculated the plane might have crashed in a remote jungle, escaping satellite detection. Wilson focused on Southeast Asian rainforests and found what seemed to be an aircraft deep in Cambodia, west of Phnom Penh. Despite confirmed debris in the Indian Ocean, doubts about an ocean crash persisted. Undeterred, Ian and his brother ventured into the jungle, but treacherous terrain forced their guides to turn back. Aviation expert Lieutenant Tim McMillan noted the object's resemblance to a plane, but deemed it too small for a Boeing 777. Eventually, experts confirmed it wasn't MH370, but another aircraft. Ian and Jackie remain hopeful despite the setback and plan a return with sufficient funding. Number 2. Secret Passenger and Puzzling Cargo in the investigation, another captivating theory emerges. A passenger might have hijacked the plane, slipping on board undetected. This gained momentum as investigators probed the flight's disappearance, uncovering a mysterious cargo, adding intrigue. Mr. Jaslin revealed French investigators' disclosure of this cargo, deepening the mystery, while Mr. Waterloo cited La Parisienne's revelation of an overloaded container. Yet the reasons behind this still need to be clarified. Further investigation revealed an unexplained addition to the flight list after takeoff, leaving motives uncertain. Aviation security expert Tim Termini supports the hijacking theory, presenting possible scenarios. However, Philip Abom urges caution, noting officials' reluctance to consider the hitchhiker theory. Number 1. Uncontrolled Missiles or Communication Errors Last but not least, this theory suggests MH370 might have been shot down during a joint military exercise between Thailand and the U.S. in the South China Sea, coinciding with its disappearance. Former French airline director Mark Teagan claimed to have seen unidentified aircraft in the area and even received threats when pursuing this theory, hinting at possible mistaken identity. Another scenario proposes a military force mistakenly targeted MH370 due to deviations from its flight path or loss of communication. A British author, Nigel Cawthorn, speculated that U.S. Thai fighters might have taken it down, fearing it threatened their military base. These theories, though intriguing, need more solid evidence and face criticism for their lack of clear motives and logistical challenges. As we ponder these theories, the truth behind MH370's disappearance remains hidden. Which theory do you find most believable of them all? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it, 
and subscribe for more shocking discoveries. Thank you for watching.